channel. Today I'm gonna try to do this because I've never done it, to be honest. I do a lot of baking, candy making, but I've never worked with isomalt crystals. It's some kind of a sugar product and you can make a sugar candy with it. I got this mold from Michaels today. They were $2.99. I love the diamond ones and the unicorns. Um, I have a bunch of um, chocolate molds, but they're plastic. And I have some silicon molds that I got from Dollar Tree, but um, for isomalt, it has to be silicon or it melts. Because it's really, it gets really, really hot. So I'm going to attempt to do this. And I'm going to show you the process, okay? I'm going to try to video uh, tape this so I can share it with you guys. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been watching uh, Netflix lately. And there is a show, um, it's called... Uh, what's the name? Great Britain's baking show something like that and they have been working with isomalt and it really called my attention so I really want to learn how to do it so let's see how it goes okay hopefully it will be successful okay let me put this aside so I can start working on it I'll be right back okay guys so um, as you can see I have a thick sweatshirt on me because this gets really hot and you don't want to burn yourself um, with um, the sugar okay then this is the isomalt and You have to use a stainless steel pot, okay? Okay, so this is starting to melt already. You need a silicone spatula to move it because you don't want to burn it. it's like granules and it's melting and it's bubbling we're gonna need a thermometer to measure the heat because it has to reach 190 degrees when it reaches 190 then you have to remove it from the heat and put the pot over uh, a bowl with cold water or over your sink um, just to stop it from continue to cook okay um, so now that the first amount that I added in the pot is almost completely melted uh, I'm gonna add some more okay it's easier this way for what I've seen um, so I'm gonna add more okay I still have another quarter of the isomalt in the bag and this is a bag this is 16 ounces or 454 grams and I got this online from Amazon I think I'm gonna add um, the link of the place where I got it from in case you're interested okay I also um, from that same place I bought some um, gold 
flakes. So I'm gonna make some chocolate and I'm gonna add those um, gold flakes to the chocolate. Now when you're doing this just be careful. Try not to do it like if you have kids around or anything because this gets really really hot. Okay so that's why my child is not around. This has melted too. So now I'm gonna add the rest. All of it. It's looking pretty good. What you want to achieve from what I've heard is that the isomal needs to um, be really white or clear, if you want to say clear. Because um, you can also add food coloring to this. I think you can make it um, a different color if you want to make like um, I don't know, um, if you want to blow like uh, sugar, like a um, like glass, you can tint it. I'm not sure what kind of uh, coloring you need to do that though. Because I'm just learning. This is the first time that I'm working with this, so I'm not sure about those details. But I got this today on the mail and I wanted to give it a try right away. So um, I wanted to melt it. And this once this is um, cooked, you can um, put it into like different molds, like the ones that I got from Michael's, those silicone molds. Or you can also just put it over a baking sheet with parchment paper. Pour it on top of the parchment paper. And when it gets cold, you can um, store it in a bag with silica gel and in a plastic airtight container and you can store it for a year or so so that's really good and when you want to use it next time if you want to use it to make some you know diamond rings or whatever you want to use it for uh, you can um, just grab the amount that you need and microwave it and that's it you don't have to go through this process again looks like this is done it says 300 oh, I have to take it out okay You can see it's super liquid. 
I'm going to pour it on top of this uh, parchment paper here. Oh, no. Put some water over there. This gets um, solid pretty quickly. It sets quickly. Okay, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to see if I can remove the rest from the pot. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that was really, really hot. <laughs> and I think it's not bad. I mean, the process wasn't so terrible. It was the first time that I was doing it, so I was a little nervous because, you know, people say, oh, be careful, don't burn yourself, and this and that, so, um, and I also know that I should have put my thermometer in there sooner because it got to be a little too hot, maybe, but it looks okay. Um, I pour most of the isomers on top of the parchment paper. And look, it has some bubbles and it's supposed to have bubbles and you can remove the bubbles, but I need to buy a torch to do that. So I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond and do that. But it looks pretty clear to me, see? It's pretty clear. So um, I think it looks okay. And it has the cool effect. See? It's transparent. And this is sure. And you can mold this. You can. Um, now I'm going to put it in a bag and I'm going to put it in a container. And then next time I can just microwave a portion of it to make whatever I want to make. So I have this piece. And I have a little bit more here and I have this I put some here in this diamond um, shape I think this one is the one that came out the best good thing about the silicone molds is that they come out pretty easily look at that diamond Pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can take another one out. This one is smaller. Oh, 
it looks pretty good. You can see the shape of diamond right there. Part of my nails, guys, but I had some stressful couple of weeks, past two weeks, and I was biting my nails, and I had to go and have them done. They were long, and then I was biting them, and I had to cut them super short. So they look awful right now. But just look at the diamonds, don't look at my nails. See how cute that is? I really like it. I can't wait to get the torch that I need to make this shiny and get rid of those bubbles. I guess you can do this also with regular sugar instead of uh, the isomalt, but I don't know if they last that long. I mean, I really, really like this. Now let's see how the um, unicorns came out. I have some in the unicorns too. The diamond is my favorite so far. This, I don't know, this is probably crappy. Let's see. <laughs> see, it's just sugar. It, mm. It's really hard. It's edible, you can eat it because it's just sugar, but it's super hard. Look at that unicorn. Cool, huh? They didn't come out so good. I think I'm gonna remelt this and I'm gonna make them again because. I don't see a lot of definition on their face. I'm happy to see that it works though. That one is a little better, I think. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna be back because I'm gonna make some chocolate with those same molds. I'm gonna make some white chocolate and some milk chocolate um but just the easy way i think i'm gonna melt the chocolate in the microwave and do it i'm not gonna temper the chocolate okay so i'll be right back just a minute okay so i put it in for 30 seconds and it's starting to melt see as you can see it's really just starting to melt because it was only there for 30 seconds okay and it's really important that you only put it in for 30 seconds at a time so if you don't do that then the chocolate is gonna burn and you will not be able to use it okay so I think with another 30 seconds this one is gonna be good so I'm gonna pop it back in the microwave, okay? Let's see. I don't know if you're, this is gonna bother you, but let, let's try. Almost done. 15 more seconds, guys. Sorry. But I want to show you as soon as I take it out of the microwave, okay? So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, okay so. So, this one, this is ready, see? This is already melted, so with just one minute, this got really melted, see? Just one minute, that was enough. Because if you put it again for another 30 seconds, then it's gonna burn. Okay, so make sure you follow that advice. Put it in, 
whole third so I'm going to take it out, mix it, and put it back in. Okay, so we're going to use the diamond one. I'm going to use the smaller spoon. Okay. So put some chocolate inside your mold just this tight. You can make it solid if you want, or you can just put some chocolate in it to like cover the sides. Then empty the chocolate back in your container, and you're just gonna have some chocolate on the sides. Then when that hardens, you can put some caramel in it with nuts, walnuts, or you can put some cherries or anything you want and then cover it with more chocolate on top and you're gonna make like a bonbon kind of thing, like a truffle. Um, so you can do that. But this ones, I'm going to make them just solid diamond and I'm going to cover them either with those um, gold flakes that I got with the isomalt or I also have some gold or silver or white dust um, that I've had for a while because I use it for my baking or for like decorating cookies or cakes usually you can paint like fondant with that and it gives it a shine and it looks really luxurious so almost done with this this is the last one and when you are done um, filling the molds with your chocolate you have to make sure you hit it against the countertop so you get rid of the bubbles okay so see that's it now I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a few minutes until it sets okay I'll show you in a second guys I'll be back okay guys so I took the molds out of the fridge and the good thing about the silicone is that you just kind of pull it and it comes out easily looks like it see I'm just gonna It looks really good. I love it. They're beautiful. Oh, they are the best. Can you see that? Look how easy they come out. Perfect. They are wonderful. Look, beautiful diamonds. You see? Great. Lovely. This is the unicorn. Let's see the unicorn. Oh, the unicorn is great too. Look. Pretty. Diamond's still my favorite though, guys. And wait till you 
see what I'm gonna put on top of them. And it's gonna make them look even better. I really like the way the unicorn came out too. I don't know if I have high hopes for the dollar store uh, mold because they don't seem to be as flexible as this silicone here but let's try that's why I only did two of each two of the pineapple and two of the flamingo because I don't really know how they're gonna come out so hmm. See, this is hard there. The other one is super soft. Oh, it's not bad. Look, it doesn't have a lot of definition though. But it's, it's okay. It's not as easy though. Look. Michael's also had... Um, the same kind, the soft silicon. They had flamingo and they had pineapples. They had dinosaurs and look at the flamingo. <laughs> they had dinosaurs and teddy bears. So I'm gonna go get a few of those. Um, probably soon. Okay, so that's how they came out. And um, let me just move this up here so you can see. Um, I have, well, as you guys know, I do a lot of baking. Well, I used to do a lot of baking. I haven't done much lately, but I have all this tips for cake decorating and the food colorings. And this is what I'm going to use. This is what I'm looking for. See, I have the pearl dust, this is white, this is silver, and this is gold. So I think I'm going to use some of that. Oh, this has gold in it. I'm going to add some of the gold dust on those diamonds and see how they look. And this is the gold flakes. See, the flakes are big. I got this from um, where I got the um, isomalt. I don't think I'm going to use those flakes, they're too big. They are more like cake and stuff like that. And this is the gold powder. A little bit of this goes a long way. Okay. It says all gold. This is two grams and it's a lot and I've had this for a while. So I'm gonna use the gold dust and I'm gonna apply it on top of the, uh, one of the diamonds, okay guys? So here, let's do this one. Can you see? Yeah. So just brush it on top of it. It looks so pretty. Can you see? Okay, well, I just want you to get an idea. I'm gonna finish the rest and then I'll show you when they're done because I don't want to make this longer than what already is, okay? Okay, guys, I'm going to finish this and I'll be back.
Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video, it's something different. Um, if you want me to show you how I make some Halloween treats, I have some Halloween um, chocolate molds that I can use, or I can show you um, all the baking supplies that I have. And I can teach you how to use them if you want. I mean, if you want to learn how to use these tips to decorate cupcakes or cakes. Or this is just an example of what I have for Halloween. This is a haunted house that we can make out of chocolate. I have a coffin. I have some mummies and jack-o'-lanterns. I have a lot of stuff, but... If you're interested, I can show you that in another video because this is already too long. And thank you so much again for watching, guys, okay? Hope you have a great day and bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay, if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye, guys.